Hello friends, this is Abdul Kafur with the teaching and learning. Today in pedagogy lesson, lesson 2 of the question and answers. I'm sure you liked the first video and uh, thank you so much for your appreciation, liking and uh, subscriptions as well as you. As I have mentioned, your subscription is motivation and uh, honestly today I, I got a, a many uh, subscriptions and uh, it really encouraged me and uh, enforced me to prepare another lesson with more questions. So this lesson, I'm sure I have spent a lot of time on it. I'm sure you will like it. So I really appreciate and uh, keep subscribing me, keep liking my video. And if you have any comment, please write in them. Your comment really matters. And uh, it's all about yours. It's not my efforts. You are encouraging me to do these things. And your encouragement definitely uh, will reflect in the PowerPoint. I'm sure you will check it out this and your feedback will be highly appreciated. Okay. So today in the pedagogy questions and answers, I have mentioned that uh, I'm not going to give you an examples of that. And I'm proposing these questions that you have to focus on it. Keep it this information with you. Information will be the same, but maybe the instruction will be different. The word, the criteria will be same. The area of the study will be same, but the language of instruction or the instruction will be uh, different. So I'm sure that that's really clear that what you have to study, and uh, if some somebody is gonna tell you that from which questions you have to study I think your 90% job is done so you have to go through it I'm sure it will help you a lot in the getting highest score in your pedagogy test and good luck so I'll be keep posting for the pedagogy question answer and the rest of video which I have shared in my uh, first uh, playlist okay so you have to watch uh, both parallelly my previous lessons okay which has a uh, uh, information and the notes and uh, a very clear instruction what exactly you're gonna do as well as you know these examples questions or proposed questions so let's see what are today these questions uh, first today I'm gonna talk about the uh, first rate of the education system as you know that in previous lesson I have mentioned the six national pillars or the national priorities in which the first is the first rate of the education system in the UAE. So today all the questions is about the national agenda and uh, but for which pillar in this video I'm going to only give the questions of the first rate of the education. So there will be only one question with the different answers so i have divided this one question in the three, eight different questions so let's see how eight different questions uh, with the one instruction will be so you can see here the first is that tim's trends in international mathematics science study so in this criteria this is the external exam in the ua for mathematics and science for grade 4 and grade 8 so what exactly UAE agenda is expecting and uh, His Highness Sheikh Muhammad who has vision that uh, the UAE schools or grade 4 students and grade 8 students must be in a particular rating so let's see what will be the particular rating for the tenths. So here's a question you can see. Which one of the following best describe the first rate education system of tenths in the UAE according to the international benchmarking? According to the national agenda that UAE is a planned or targeted that uh, tenths grade 4 students or grade 8 students in both science and mathematics to be among the 15th highest performing countries in teams. 
so you can see this will be the first layer of the education that in terms uh, UA uh, must be among the 15 highest performing countries this is the first question you should know now how they are going to evaluate keep this information in your mind there's a certain bodies uh, which are evaluating or uh, assessing these uh, uh, the criteria. One is the national and other one is the international. So the national is the Ministry of Education and the international you can check it out. I'll be sharing the links. All the links you will be finding in the description. Okay. So what are these uh, uh, assessment bodies? Uh, they are uh, rating these uh, education skills across the world. Current rating, uh, rating of the report of 2020 TIMS Grade 8 for assessment in math, they are in 34 Grade 8 assessment mathematics is 23 Grade 4 assessment in science is in 33 And uh, Grade 8 assessment science in 25 So it's achievable, it's not a you know, the big difference So they need to uh, reach at the 15th, 15th highest so you can see it's a very big difference as compared to the 18th and 19th the information you can see here you can read it okay I'll be sharing the link what exactly in the UAE is expecting for the first rate of the education system we'll move to the next question which one of the following best describe the first rate education system of PISA another external exam in the UAE according to the international benchmark so PISA is the program for international student assessment what in the UAE expecting to be the first rate of the education system that to be among 20th, 20th highest performing countries in PISA so the UAE planned to in 2021 uh, the rate of the and PISA at the 20th, 20th highest performing countries. So this is the one of the another one the highest or standard or the benchmark for the first rate education system. So this is also international evaluation. So you can check the organization which organizations is evaluating. So the current reporting of the PISA that in mathematics and science and reading the PISA score is 42 in mathematics and the PISA score is science is 43 and PISA score is reading in 36 so PISA is also evaluating mathematics science as well as the reading so you can see the current rating of the 2020 reporting we'll move to the another one uh, which is the question number three uh, which one of the following best describe the university foundation program of the UAE national agenda? Let me clear why the university uh, are advising or suggesting some our schools that they have to complete the first foundation before going to the university program. So it's all about the grade arts. Some uh, schools, they are not offering the complete grade arts. So for completing grade arts, they have to do one year diploma in order to meet the standard level or international levels okay so you can check the scores how much score each university required the standard score i think is the 1200 to 1400 so to ensure that the no students need to join foundation program that is the answer for that okay so right now this is the plan of the uae that uh, uh, the first rate of the education that a student of the UA should not require to uh, enroll any foundation program in order to meet the criteria. So this is all about the uh, education system and the quality of the education. So here you can see how many percentages that there is a 33.9 percent they require to attend the foundational program so means this much of the students they are not meeting the criteria so this is a current report of 2018 which is the latest so let's see for update uh, upcoming report 
Another question, uh, which one of the following best describe the first trait of the education system in sense of highly effective leadership? Now, highly effective leadership of what the UAE is planned that there should be 100% of the public schools highly effective leadership. So, their target is 100% of that one. Let's see the how much the current current is a 58 percent so this is a margin but it's achievable now because you know that the licensing as well as you know the criteria for that is quite tough and uh, they are trying to uh, hire a quality leadership across the UAE another one uh, number five which one of the following best described first-rate education system in the UAE according to the national agenda that are highly teachers they should be hundred percent qualified as you know that pedagogy is the one of the uh, main thing and they are trying that they have a uh, hundred percent quality of the teachers across the public schools so you can check here it's not only public school but public and private school that's why they have uh, mentioned the mandatory of the pedagogy uh, test uh, which is really filtering the teachers and giving the highly qualified teachers into the market. Okay, so there's a very competition, tough competition for that. And I'll, I'll say good luck all uh, educators and I'm sure you're going to get the, your desired score. So this is the target and other questions you have to focus on it. And uh, um, current report is 56% as students, they have highly quality. So still there, you know, but now as you know that uh, they have uh, set the criteria about the licensing, so it's easy to achievable. Okay. So question number six: Which one of the following best describe the first education uh, system in the UAE according to the national agenda? That to ensure the ninety percent of the grade nine students develop high skills in Arabic language according to the national assessment program so this is also there is a national agenda part of the national agenda that a grade 9 uh, they have to ensure that in the national uh, assessment program they can get the 90 percent score uh, in Arabic language so let's see uh, the current report is the 54 percent so there's a different but achievable so another thing you can see here uh, the which one of the following best describe the first rate education system of the uh, to ensure the 90 percent of 95 percent of the ua students attain attain pre-primary education so this one is the uh, achieved i guess let's see the next slide so pre-primary uh, means four to five year students okay. Uh, your age of the students you can see here current report is that it's 92.75 so it's almost done the children between age of four and five who are enrolled in preschools so they are enforcing that uh, these uh, students are the age of the four and five who must be in the school instead of you know and so this is the admission criteria they have changed now you can see the admission procedure of the KHD and the Ministry of Education as well. Uh, question number eight, which one of the following best describe the first rate of the education system according to the national agenda to ensure that the 90% of the students, Emirati students complete their high school education. So this is the 90% of the Emirati complete high school education. They should not skip. So this is really important and uh, Let's see the report. It's 97.7. So it has been achieved according to 2019. So I'm sure it's going to get now 100% of that. So these were the questions. I'm sure these questions will help you a lot to get the, your desired score in the uh, pedagogy test. And uh, this is all about your encouragement, which I got after the applauding uh, the first lesson of the question answering but keep in your mind i have already streamlined all the videos 
uh, from lesson one to lesson one and this is another playlist for that so you can check it out this one your motivation is uh, uh, really your subscription is really or highly motivating to me so keep subscribing me keep liking my videos and uh, keep uh, writing or the comments okay and i'll be trying to give you the suitable contents and that you can uh, that can help you in your pedagogy test thank you so much we'll be meeting in the next lesson till that stay blessed and stay safe